Hey guys, Jester here. I know this is a different look for my Sunday morning uh, Dungeons and Dragons review. review um, show. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> in any case, I uh, thought I'd switch it over here for at least this one um, episode, if not for future episodes. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is reviewing a Dragon Magazine article. Now, back in the day, the TSR came out with both Dragon Magazine and Dungeon Magazine. The difference between the two was that Dragon Magazine um, had articles in it that um, basically gave you new, like new magical spells or magical items or um, talked about races and just basically mechanics of the game. Whereas Dungeon Magazine mainly featured adventures that were written by written by either TSR uh, staff people or by uh, people that would uh, just like your average Joe that would submit in. Um, adventures that they had written and were accepted by the um, company to put in the magazine. So uh, that was mainly the difference between Dungeon Magazine and Dragon Magazine. <clears throat> so today I'm not going to be going over this whole magazine. Um, it, I, I'm only going to be going over one specific article in it. Um, the, this is one of my favorite articles um, of all of the magazines that uh, Dungeon put out. Um, <clears throat> let's see, where did it go? I had it right here just a second ago. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. All right. So the article is called Realigning the Druid's Spell Repertoire by John Pickens. <clears throat> Basically, um, what, what's going on here is um, when second edition came out and um, they did the spell lists for uh, priests and druids um, mainly because of the the new sphere um, element that was introduced um, so that you could have specialty priests and that sort of thing um, the powers that were available to certain types kind of got muddied and things just didn't make sense uh, it's like you know healing priests not having access to certain healing spells and you know things like that and so um, so what this article does it revamps the um, the spell lists for the spheres for specialty priests and for druids, making the druid have spells now that make sense for a druid, and also for the cleric's specialty spheres, um, it makes sense where they're placed now. <clears throat> so I use this I use this all the time anymore in my campaign um, to. As, as the go-to um, spell list as opposed to the one that's printed in the player's handbook and or Tome of Magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the article and then I'm going to give you the list of changes, uh, well, not actually the changes, but, the, but what spells are in which specialty spheres now according to this. <clears throat> so, here we go. The Case for Change One effect of the second edition game's cleric spell sphere lists is that some spells central to the play of a cleric have become much less available. For example, the good-evil split has always been a core concept of the cleric class. In the complete priest's handbook, fewer than half of the sample priesthoods even have access to the light sphere spell, 
including some obviously good aligned ones such as Guardian, Good, Justice, Peace, and Redemption priesthoods. Likewise, some evil aligned priesthoods should have darkness, the reverse of light, notably the disease and evil samples. A second problem is that some spells, once the sole province of the Druid, have become available to most clerics. This has erased a certain amount of flavor from the Druid character. In particular, spells like Heat Metal, Protection from Fire, and Protection from Lightning, all once Druid specialties, have gone into almost every cleric's grab bag. <clears throat> Third, by lumping all protection spells into a single sphere, a priest either has all such spells or none. This grouping of spells by function limits the DM's freedom to have their own special priests with different yet equivalent abilities. Finally, certain oddities have crept in. For example, Reflecting Pool and Magic Font do almost exactly the same thing. What can be done? The second edition game is far and away superior to the previous edition, not to mention much more accepted and widespread among the players. However, the following changes to the spell lists can return to the druid much of the flavor that was lost. What's in a class? The AD&D 2nd Edition Games Player's Handbook states that a stated cleric has access to 12 spheres, all astral, charm, combat, creation, divination, guardian, healing, necromancy, protection, summoning, and sun, plus minor access to the elemental sphere. <clears throat> Since major access to 12 spheres out of a total of 16 is a lot, reducing this number is desirable. The 12 sphere access really looks excessive once you start spinning off specialty priests with major access from just 3 to 6 spheres. We'll keep this in mind as we work through the spell lists, eliminating the astral sphere and getting ready to retire summoning to specialty priest status. The spheres available to the Druid in 2nd edition are All, Animal, Elemental, Healing, Plant, Weather, plus minor access to divination. Not only does this net us a few spells Druids shouldn't have, but we have lost Cure Disease, Dispel Magic, Remove Curse, and Sunray. Using the current sphere lists as a starting point, it should be possible to duplicate the balance and feel of the original Druid. This article features a combined chart that puts everything together. A matter of principle. One thing to watch for in this process is the idea of the specialty spell. In other words, instead of placing a spell like Reflecting Pool into the divination sphere simply because it is a divination, we respect the higher principle of clerical specialization. In this case, Reflecting Pool is taken off the Divination list and added to the Weather list. At one stroke, this eliminates the oddity of having two spells that do virtually the same thing at two different spell levels in the same sphere. Furthermore, by limiting clerical access to the elemental spheres to Earth and Water, no access to Air and Fire, we can eliminate many of the druids' specialty spells from the clerics' lists. <clears throat> all for all. First, we must make sure that all clerics can do their jobs, that is, perform their basic class functions of protection and support. The most obvious way to do this is to expand the all sphere. Move Detect Good and Evil from this list to both the Divination and Guardian lists. Replace this spell with Detect Magic, which all priests should have access to, be they Cleric, Druid, Shaman, etc. Expand the revised All Sphere to include the following spells. Chant, Dispel Magic, Remove Curse, Glyph of Warding, Tongues, Commune, Plane Shift, Quest, True Seeing, Speak with Monsters, Astral Spell, Gate, Symbol. The reason for the addition of Dispel Magic, Remove Curse, Tongues, Commune, and Quest is that they are basic class functions for the Cleric. Plane Shift and the Astral Spell are added here to balance high-level mage spells and to avoid the oddity of a two-spell sphere with no possible minor access. Gate and Symbol match the high-level mage abilities and they are part of the balance between the classes. 
True seeing is also a necessary counter to the class ability of the mage to employ invisibility and other illusion spells. Glyph of Warding is strictly a judgment call. It reasonably could be placed here or in the guardian or protection spheres. I suggest putting it here as the spell can be endlessly mutated to adapt it to nearly any cleric variation that the DM desires. Speak with monsters should be on this list also. The ability to communicate where others cannot is a key class ability. Chant should be here because in the first edition game, this spell was one of the few allowed to the non-human shamans. Primitive cultures should not have as effective a selection of clerical combat spells as more advanced cultures, and chant gives them a basic spell without giving them access to the whole range of combat spells. <coughs> Also, chant is appropriate for some situations involving the more barbaric cultures, such as a trigger for the appearance of nasty DM specials, for example. Party Animals Moving to the Animal Sphere, add Commune with Nature from the Divination Sphere. An Animal Sphere cleric should have access to this, while a standard cleric should not. Likewise, add Detect Snares and Pits from the same sphere for the same reason. Add Reincarnate to this list from the Necromantic Sphere. This spell is the Druid's equivalent of the Raised Dead spell, so it should be where the Druid Specialty Priest can get at it, and where, in turn, the Druid can't get the Raised Dead spell. Astral Blues As stated above, we can get rid of the small Astral Sphere. It is true that in the Tome of Magic book, one low-level spell was added, Detect Ethereal Astral Being. We'll make this spell a specialty divination in the Summoning Sphere. The reason? This spell is esoteric enough that a general cleric probably wouldn't have it, so we don't put it in divination. On the other hand, it is exactly the type of spell that a summoning specialist is likely to have. <coughs> Charmed, I'm sure. The revised Charm Sphere contains spells that emphasize the qualities of subtlety and finesse. We've moved Quest to the All Sphere, so we don't need it here. Add Sanctuary to this list. This can be a cons this can be a considered a mind affecting spell in that the cleric is altering the perceptions of the subject. This is close enough to a Charm function to be included here. Add Detect Charm in some Add Detect Charm in case some variant cleric is given access to Charm, but not Divination. Add Snake Charm. This spell always was available to the first edition cleric and was never available to the first edition druid. It makes sense that it be on a list to which clerics have access. Add Sticks to Snakes. <clears throat> this is a stretch, but snakes and charming are con connected in the popular imagination so we needn't be too uncomfortable about including it here. It also provides a reasonable follow-up to the Snake Charm spell. Add Dispel Evil since this is automatically successful at breaking evil charms and, dis and enchantments. A cleric specializing in charm magic should have access to this. Delete both Remove Fear and Cloak of Bravery. Fear effects are not quite the same as charm effects and these are better off as core spells available to war priests. Attack. The revision of the combat sphere will produce a list that emphasizes a fairly direct and unsubtle approach. The sphere needs to be beefed up since chant is moving to the all sphere. Add command. This is the only clerical spell that a cleric really has a chance to cast quickly in a showdown with a mage in spite of its short range. Add remove fear which is a direct support for friendly warriors. Add aid another support spell that gives the warriors these cleric hang out with a quick boost. Add Cloak of Bravery, which is like Remove Fear. Add Hero's Feast, which plays right into the theme of the heroic warrior cleric. Add Word of Recall. This might be something of a stretch. However, being able to retreat and regroup is an important part of battle tactics and frontline fighting clerics are going to need this occasionally. Also, we are planning to convert summoning to more of a specialty discipline, and we don't want to strip word of recall from all the standard clerics in the meantime. Delete Shalala. 
this specialty priest is appropriate I'm sorry this specialty spell is appropriate only to druids although you could make a case for its being a granted <clears throat> power of the world of Greyhawk clerics of Cuthbert which I do the druids pick it up in the plant sphere so there's no reason to keep it on this list art of creativity the creation sphere needs to be expanded for there is little here add light remember that few specialty clerics actually get this staple spell putting it here allows specialty priests better access to it also the creation of light is traditionally symbolic of creation of course if we add light we also must include continual light add magical stones their effect against undead suggests that presence of raw positive material energy which is the stuff of creation add negative plane protection for the same reason add sticks to snakes although this might be stretching this traditional power of the standard cleric class fits in well with a creationist theme as this was a power commonly attributed to priests with this background in traditional tradition and myth also add aid raise dead and restoration since creation gods theoretically created everything including people it is reasonable to assume that they can imbue others with some of their own creative force the last addition is holy word its inclusion is based on the assumption that the ability to create includes the ability to preserve the essence of the creation from outside intruders it is somehow fitting to give the powers of creation not only the first word but the last one as well of course we dump the druid specialty spells change staff and wall of thorns they are specific to the druid and available through the plant sphere divinations as noted in comments on the all list detect good and evil is moved to this list with tongues commune and true seeing going to the all sphere and reflecting pool and commune with nature being specialty spells the upper levels of the sphere of divination look quite thin no matter what is left is pretty potent and the standard cleric will keep major access anyway in part two of this article see arcane lore in this issue we shall take a closer look at the upper level divinations <clears throat> The stone tail spell should be added from the elemental list. It is both a divination spell and has traditionally been available to clerics of sufficient level. Finally, delete the druid specialty spells, detect snares and pits, and locate animals or plants. These go to the animal and plant spheres. Move reflecting pool to the weather sphere and commune with nature to both the animal and plant spheres. Elementally, my dear druid, Standard clerics should have their minor access to this sphere limited to the earth and water elements. This gives them a good selection of spells while keeping them away from the druid specialties. Standard clerics should remain limited to minor access. If you are splitting the elemental sphere by element, the air elemental list is too short to be viable, even if you include dust devil. In this case, borrow from the weather sphere, including the fairy fire, call lightning and control winds. As an aside, an air cleric might be augmented from the wizard spell list, possibly including featherfall, whispering wind, and gust of wind. The sunray spell should be on this list. Its original use was to give druids a spell to use against undead and oozes, slimes, and jellies. On a clerical list, it is little more than a poor man's flame strike. In short, it is useful for a druid. For a cleric, it is merely redundant. <clears throat> guardians of nature currently this sphere just needs development a fair number of people haven't caught the difference between this sphere and protection the primary difference is that this sphere wards areas whereas protection spells are personal both suffer from the same problem the cleric either has all spells of the type or no spells of the type it has been suggested to let to just let this sphere be absorbed into the others the comment was that splitting spells between this, this sphere and protection is a lot like splitting comeliness off from charisma. An interesting experiment, but ultimately, why bother? I disagree with this view. The addition of the sacred sentinel and holy guardian spells from the Tome of Magic add enough to this sphere to keep it. 
The glyph and symbol spells go to the all sphere. Also, move silence 15 foot radius to the protection sphere for use against sound based attacks and move wyvern watch to the summoning sphere. Added to this sphere from the summoning sphere are abjure and dispel evil. It makes sense that a guardian priest should be able to get rid of other planar or evil entities or effects. Also, the light spell should be added here. Its ability to reveal as light or conceal as darkness within the area of effect plus the alignment slant it would introduce to this sphere strongly argue for its inclusion and where light goes continual light follows so we add that spell to this list too. To reinforce the alignment slanting of the guardian sphere add protection from evil, protection from evil 10 foot radius and holy word to this sphere also. One last note in the player's handbook the forbidden spell was left off the sphere, sphere list in the back of the book it should be listed as a guardian sphere spell. <clears throat> Priest, heal thyself. Currently, half of the spells a healer needs are in the necrom necromantic sphere. Add the following spells, spells to the healing sphere. Cure blindness or deafness, cure disease, dispel evil, regenerate. Note, dispel evil. With the disappearance of the exorcism spell, Dispel Evil has become the counterspell to a hostile creature taking over a character or object. Thus, this spell needs to be on this list to let a healer address this problem. Necromantic Needs Closely related to the healing sphere, because it deals with life force manipulation, the necromantic sphere needs a few spells added. Slow Poison, Remove Paralysis, Neutralize Poison, Dispel Evil. The reason these need to be together is that evil necromancer NPCs need their reversed forms. The speak with dead spell should be added to the list. The only other key change here is to move reincarnate to the animal sphere. The availability of raised dead, resurrection and so on make reincarnate here superfluous. The spell originally was the druid counter to character death and putting it into the animal sphere restores it to its proper niche in the game system. Note that the previous sphere healing does not have access to raised dead and similar spells. This is to allow the more primitive priests and others like druids to have healing beyond minor access without allowing them the capacity to bring back dead characters on a regular basis. <clears throat> a green thumb. Add locate animals and plants, detect snares and pits, and commune with nature to the plant sphere. While some may consider these listings redundant, and I certainly recommend that as a general rule, clerics and priests have at least minor access to the divination sphere, this ensures that clerics with this specialty can use these spells. To serve and protect. Moving on to the protection sphere, dispel magic needs to be moved to the all sphere. A cleric who can't dispel magic is blocked from one of his basic game functions. The most important spell to add the most important spell to add here is water breathing. This is an important clerical spell and the cleric who may not have elemental access can get access to it here. Finally, all the druid specialty spells should be deleted from this light from this list. Bark skin, protection from fire and protection from lightning. The latter two especially are unbalancing power adds for the general cleric. The first totally outperforms the standard cleric, clerical resist fire, and the latter gives a party too much protection against lightning based attacks, which were specifically designed to be hard on the party magic. These specific advantages of the druid were supposed to make the druid a viable alternative choice on a party level. If every cleric can use them, then why go with the specialist druid? <clears throat> Summon knocking on my door. The summoning sphere list is a little short. In particular, it is impossible to have minor access to this sphere as all the spells in it are fourth level and higher. Add to the list Dust Devil, Messenger, and Wyvern Watch. Also, add protection from evil and protection from evil 10 foot radius. These additions are based on the principle that a summoning specialist also would have access to the spells that would protect him from summoned creatures. The last addition is Detect Charm, since this allows the summoner to determine if an extra planar creature is controlling an item or creature. Again, the Druid Specialty spells should be removed. Animal Summoning 1, 2, and 3, 
summon woodland beings, and wall of thorns. Also, remember to add detect astral ethereal beings here if you have the Tome of Magic book. Here comes the sun. Aside from noting that the sun spell list is a little light, ouch, I have no major recommendations for changes. The list can be bolstered by adding Sunburst from the Greyhawk Adventures book. A version of the spell is reproduced in the Arcane Lore column that accompanies this article. Weather or not, all the weather spell spheres, heh, all the weather sphere spells are fine for druids and for weather or sea specialty priests. Druids, the final frontier. The changes noted above should return the original feel to the druid character. As a bonus, by moving the various special druid divination spells into the animal and plant lists, we eliminate the need to give the druid minor access to divinations. I know I recommended that all priests have at least minor access to divinations, but the druid specialty is the infamous exception that proves the rule. Three small adjustments also should be made to the list of the druid's granted powers. This includes all specialty priests of a nature deity. 1. Druids receive speak with animals as a first level spell instead of a second level spell. 2. Druids receive cure light wounds as a second level spell rather than a first level spell. 3. Druids receive Neutralize Poison as a 3rd level spell instead of a 4th level spell. The reason for the first is to allow even starting druids the ability to communicate with animals directly, a key character ability. The reason for the second is that the Cure Light Wound spell is so useful that in most campaigns it nearly always drives out other first level spells. This important modification of the druids granted powers brings back into play the first level druid specialty spells such as entangle and fairy fire it also creates a very different sense of pacing for those playing druid characters likewise another key druid ability was the early access to the neutralized poison spell in low mid to low to mid level groups one of the primary reasons to seek out druid characters was their ability to save poisoned adventurers <clears throat> odds and ends one curious question that came up was how to add new clerical spells to the game, since theori theoretically every cleric knows every spell on the standard list. How exactly does clerical spell research work if all clerical spells are divinely given? One solution that works is to assume that the spells are available if the cleric knows how to ask for them. Thus, the basis for clerical spell research is the cleric's discovery of how to ask a patron for the appropriate spell. The key factors is in the attempt, adventuring time lost, monetary expenditures, and chance of failure are, of course, equal to those of a wizard researching a magical spell. When a spell, once a spell is discovered, it either may be made available to others of the same religion or perhaps left as a spell unique to the PC cleric. This is the DM's decision, perhaps to be transmitted in the DM's role of the PC's patron. Clerical Spears all, charm, combat, creation, divination, guardian, healing, necromancy, protection, elemental, minor access to earth and water spells. Druid spheres, all, animal, elemental, healing, plant, sun, weather. <clears throat> so that was the makeup of the article. Now I'm going to give you, based on all of what I just read, what the revised clerical and druidical spells lists are. So we have the all sphere that is available to both clerics and druids. And in this sphere, you have the following spells. Spells. <clears throat> Bless. Combine. Detect magic. Purify food and drink. Chant. Dispel magic. Remove curse. Glyph of warding. Tongues, Atonement, Commune, Plane Shift, Quest, True Seeing, Speak with Monsters, Astral Spell, Gate, and Symbol. The Animal Sphere is available only to Druids, and this sphere has the following spells. Animal Friendship, Charm Person or Mammal, Detect Snares and Pits, invisibility to animals, locate animals or plants, messenger, snake charm, 
speak with animals, hold animal, summon insects, animal summoning one, call woodland beings, giant insect, repel insects, animal growth, animal summoning two, commune with nature, animal summoning three, anti-animal shell, creeping doom, reincarnate. And you have the charm sphere available only to clerics. <clears throat> that This sphere has the following spells. Command, Sanctuary, Detect Charm, Enthrall, Snake Charm, Hold Person, Sticks to Snakes, Free Action, Imbue with spe Spell Ability, Dispel Evil, Confusion, and Exaction. And you have the Combat Sphere, also available only to clerics. The sphere has the following spells. Command, Magical Stone, Remove Fear, Aid, Spiritual Hammer, Prayer, Cloak of Bravery, Flame Strike, Hero's Feast, Word of Recall, Holy Word. And you have the Creation Sphere, also only available to clerics, which contains the following spells. Light, Magical Stone, Aid, Continual Light, Create Food and Water, Negative Plane Protection, Sticks to Snakes, Raise Dead, Animate Object, Blade Barrier, Hero's Feast, Chariot of Sestare, Restoration, Holy Word. Then you have the Divination Sphere, also only available to clerics, which has the following spells. Detect Evil, Detect Poison, Augury, Detect Charm, Find Traps, Speak with Animals, Locate Object, Speak with Dead, Detect Lie, Divination, Magic Font, Find the Path, and Stone Tell. And you have the Elemental Air Sphere, which is available only to Druids, which has the following spells. Fairy Fire, Dust Devil, Call Lightning, Air Walk, Control Winds, Chariot of Sestare, and Wind Walk. And you have the Earth Elemental Sphere, which is available to both clerics and druids, which contain the following spells. Dust Devil, Meld into Stone, Stone Shape, Spike Stones, Transmute Rock to Mud, Stone Tell, Transmute Water to Dust, Animate Rock, Conjure Earth Elemental, Earthquake, Transmute Metal to Wood. <clears throat> then you have the Elemental Fire Sphere, available only to Druids, containing the following spells. Fire Trap, Flame Blade, Heat Metal, Produce Flame, Flame Walk, Protection from Fire, Pyrotechnics, Produce Fire, Wall of Fire, Conjure Fire Elemental, Fire Seeds, Chariot of Sestare, Fire Storm, and Sunray. And you have the Elemental Water Sphere, available to both Clerics and Druids, which contain the following spells. <clears throat> Create Water, Water Breathing, Water Walk, Lower Water, Reflecting Pool, Part Water, Transmute Water to Dust. And you have the Guardian Sphere, available only to Clerics, containing the following spells. Detect Evil, Light, Protection from Evil, Remove Fear, Continual Light, Abjure, Cloak of Bravery, Protection from Evil 10 foot radius, Dispel Evil, Blade Barrier, Forbiddance, Holy Word. Then you have the Healing Sphere, available to both Clerics and Druids, containing the following spells. Cure Light Wounds, Cure Blindness or Deafness, Slow Poison, Cure Disease, Cure Serious Wounds, Neutralize Poison, Cure Critical Wounds, Dispel Evil, Heal, and Regenerate. Then you have the Necromantic Sphere, available only to clerics, containing the following spells. Invisibility to Undead, 
aid, cure blindness or deafness, slow poison, animate dead, cure disease, feign death, negative plane protection, remove paralysis, speak with dead, neutralize poison, dispel evil, raise dead, regenerate, restoration, and resurrection. Then you have the plant sphere available only to druids containing the following spells. Entangle, locate animals or plants, pass without trace, shillelagh, bark skin, detect snares and pits, goodberry, trip, warp wood, plant growth, snare, spike growth, tree, hallucinatory forest, hold plant, plant door, speak with plants, sticks to snakes, anti-plant shell, commune with nature, pass plant, live oak, transport via plants, turn wood, wall of thorns, chain staff. <clears throat> then you have the protection sphere available only to clerics containing the following spells. Endure cold and heat, protection from evil, sanctuary, silence 15 foot radius, resist fire and cold, withdrawal, magical vestment, negative plane protection, remove paralysis, water breathing, protection from evil 10 foot radius, spell immunity, anti-plant shell, anti-animal shell. Then you have the summoning sphere available only to specialty priests that are allowed to cast summoning spells. <clears throat> that contains the following spells. Protection from evil, dust devil, messenger, detect charm, wyvern watch, abjure, protection from evil 10 foot radius, dispel evil, aerial servant, animate object, conjure animals, weather summoning, word of recall, creeping doom, exaction, and succor. Then you have the sun sphere, which is available only to druids, containing the following spells. Light, continual light, starshine, moonbeam, rainbow, and sunray. And then finally, you have the weather sphere, also only available to druids, containing the following spells. Fairy fire, obscurement, call lightning, control temperature 10 foot radius, protection from lightning, reflecting pool, control winds, rainbow, weather summoning, and control weather. And that, my friends, is the article about the druids and clerics spell list changes out of Dragon Magazine number 205. I'll be doing more um, dragon and or dungeon magazine um, reviews um, and in the future here and I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and like I said uh, this is one of my favorite articles of any edition of the Dungeon or Dragon magazines um, and I think it was very well thought out and um, established and needed to be done and so kudos to uh, Mr. Mr. Perkins Pickens. Let's see what was his name again? Sorry that I forgot your name, dude. Um, let's see here. Where was that? <laughs> Pickens. John Pickens. So very well done there. And um, anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bells so you can uh, get more notices of when I post these videos. Um, make sure you um, share with all your friends. And um, also, if you wish to support this channel, uh, I don't have a Patreon account, but what you can do is go to the About section in this channel. It will give you links to purchase my um, Fantasy fiction novel, Book of Prophecies, uh, is available in hardback, paperback, and ebook formats. Uh, and you can support 
this channel by purchasing that book. Um, so again, thanks for watching. And until next time, and as always, see you soon.